So I want to go into a little bit more depth on storage and processing, but before I do, I need you to know about two different concepts. The first is information. We need to talk about how a computer deals with things coming in and coming out. And the smallest amount of information we can deal with is something that only has two states. So maybe it's on or it's off, or it's true or it's false, or it's one or it's zero, or it's a high voltage or low voltage. Uh, these are all things with just two states, and we call those binary, because they're two states. And when we're talking about zeros and ones, as we often do with computers, we call those binary digits. But that's way too long for us to say all the time, so we shorten binary digit to the term bit. And I'm sure you've heard of bits. Uh, a bit is the smallest amount of information we can really talk about. Something is just yes or no, on, off, zero, one. Bits are really small bits of information, though, so we never talk about bits by themselves, really. We talk about bytes sometimes. A byte is eight bits, but that's still not much information. So we have to use big numbers. Here's another thing you need to know about when we're talking about big numbers. What we do, instead of saying a thousand bits, we would say a kilobit. Kilo just means a thousand, so if we put kilo in front of something else, it means a thousand. You guys know what a meter is. You've learned about that in, uh, in school. If you have a thousand of those, we call that a kilometer or kilometer, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, a thousand bits or bytes is still a very small amount, so we might talk about a million of them, and that is a megabit or a megabyte. Often we have to go with much bigger still. We may talk about gigabytes. Gigabytes are a thousand bytes. If we put the term giga in front of anything, it just means a billion of them. The other thing that I want to talk with you about is speed. We talk about speed with computers in terms of how many things it can do every second. And we have a special unit for that. Anything that happens one time a second happens at one hertz. A hertz is just a, a unit that means one time per second. If your heart is beating 60 times a minute, that's one time per second, that's beating at one hertz. If you start exercising and it's beating at 120 times per minute or two times per second, that's two hertz. That's really all a hertz is. It means how many times something happens a second. And you'll find that in all kinds of different fields too. We talk about sound in terms of uh, hertz as well. Uh, so anything that happens periodically, happens over and over again like that, we may measure in hertz. Computer speeds are usually measured these days in gigahertz. How many billion things can it do per second? 